Well, we have new details in the Shinquella Robinson case, a signal for a setback for her family. Authorities now say they will not file federal charges in the case. The 25-year-old from Charlotte died last year while on vacation in Mexico. Her death has been shrouded by mystery, and a now viral video shows her being beaten prior to her death. Queen City News anchor Derek Dollinger is live in Uptown, where the Robinson family attorney spoke today. And, and Derek, this is just such a disheartening uh, news for the family that's fought so hard to seek justice. Yes, they have fought so hard, and simply put, the lawyer for the family told us today that they are disappointed but not deterred. But there's still a way for charges to possibly come in the case. Shanquilla Robinson's family walked into the FBI field office Wednesday, hopeful, but about an hour later walked out. There was a sense then that they were not happy with what they heard. Federal authorities saying federal charges would not be filed in her death. It's a blow to a case that has gained national and international attention. Robinson, a young Charlotte woman on vacation in Cabo San Lucas, who reportedly was seen on video being assaulted by someone she knew before she died. Justice delayed can be justice denied. We all know that and have seen it time and time again. The family's lawyer, Sue Ann Robinson, spoke with the media after the meeting with federal officials. The U.S. Attorney's Office says they told the family that the evidence they had in the case did not support a federal prosecution. While it is a setback, it does essentially leave one big option open for now, for Mexico to order an extradition hearing. Robinson says that paperwork has been filed, but nothing has happened yet, something she says is frustrating and something that she has seen more than she would like. When there are black and brown victims of crimes, there is a whole other set of things that have to be done then not. The family says they are trying to chart a new path in the case. The case, they say, is cut and dry, and they want to know why the justice is not. There has to be a high level of diplomatic intervention. Heads of state have to talk to heads of state and say, listen, this is what it is. This is what happened. It's on video. We can't have U.S. citizens do this cannot occur. How are we going to resolve this? So what is next? There are still some meetings that uh, still need to be taking place in D.C. There also is coming up on May 19th, a march to the State Department that's going to be happening in honor of Shanquilla. And now we're live in Uptown, Eric Dellinger, Queen City News.